Hello, everyone. So my name's McKenna, and I want to talk to you guys about video games. So um, the question is, should video games be viewed as art? And I think they absolutely should. So um, video games are a relatively young art form, and they really don't get the respect that they deserve because of it. When most people think of video games, they think of Mario or Tetris or that weird game their boyfriend won't stop playing. But um, the thing is, people see games as mindless entertainment that are meant only for nerds and little kids. But video games are actually growing and evolving, and people don't really seem to realize that. They seem to think that just because something has the word game attached to it, then it's automatically not worth their time. But that's absolutely not true. So when a game is, is well done, you get this like, great experience out of it. You get to have like this and sort of a um, community with other gamers. And not every game is a masterpiece. That is definitely true. But when it works well, it's amazing. And um, the thing about it is like, you get to really choose your own adventure. You're kind of in charge of your own story. So you get to take charge of this. And this is especially true in games that have deeper, more involved storylines. In games like this, it's sort of like um, an interactive novel, where the point of the game is to progress the storyline and find out what happens next. So defeating the next boss or tracking down the next key item is kind of the equivalent of turning the page. The plot lines are really interesting in these games, and there's lots of twists and turns to keep you on your toes. It's really easy to lose yourself in a game like this, um, with a great story and a wonderful atmosphere. And it's even easier to lose yourself when the graphics and the music are beautiful. That's happened to me so many times. So, um, but I want to switch gears for a second. I also want to talk about comics. So in the 40s and 50s, comics became this really huge deal. They were really popular among the younger generation, a huge form of entertainment. But a lot of people were skeptical about them because they believed they were contributing to a rise in juvenile delinquency. And so they, it took years for them to be accepted as an art form. Video games are now going through a similar trial. People are attributing extremely violent acts to violent games. That's a topic for another day. But um, they're really reluctant to accept it as an art form. And I think this actually has a lot to do with the fact that video games are just new. They're, they haven't been around as long as, say, like music or books or even movies. So people just have a harder time accepting them. Well, this brings up another question. What is art, anyway? Well, it's really hard to define. It's extremely subjective. But to me, art is something that gets you thinking, leaves a strong impression, or moves you in some way. There are so many games out there that have left a really deep impression on me, and I couldn't stop thinking about them for days or even weeks after I completed them. Some games have even moved me to tears. And that could be because I'm just a sissy. I don't know. But um, to me, video games are something to be experienced. and they're, they can really be quite deep emotionally. Um, the other thing about them is that art is always growing, it's changing and evolving. And let's think about like painting, for instance. Um, it's changed a lot since the days of cave painting. And this is also true for video games. They've evolved and changed a lot. And a perfect example of this is Portal. So Portal was a very innovative game, extremely well crafted. The antagonist was hilarious. And the portal gun provided an entirely new, different experience for gamers. It was something we had never seen before. Extremely challenging. Um, so a lot of the people that dismiss games as an art form are people that seem to not have any exposure to them. They really, they'll admit they've never played a game before. And personally, I think that if they never have played a game, they're not really qualified to pass judgment on them. And playing Angry Birds does not count. So let's get that straight right now. So, um, so why does this even matter anyway? Like, why, why do I care so much about this? Well, for me, I care about this because as a gamer, it makes me really sad to like, have people push this aside and say, like, it doesn't matter. I'm really tired of people telling me that I'm wasting my time by playing video games because I don't think that's true. I think that games are something really amazing, something that should be experienced. And there's so many things you could be missing out on, different experiences that you would not get any other way. I mean, you could be playing as a mosquito right now. That's pretty awesome. So games, they've really changed a lot. They've evolved so much from the days of like Pong, for instance. 
um, I can really only imagine how they'll evolve in the future. And I think it's a shame that they're not viewed as art already. So, I mean, the possibilities are just endless. So I think that hopefully in the future, video games will finally be taken seriously and viewed as a legitimate art form. Thank you.